Okay. Thank you. Okay, so um, exhaustion. Um, exhaustion can happen uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, it can actually happen with spiritual work. Uh, my, uh, my feel is um, that with the current, um, uh, the current fear that has enveloped the collective consciousness with COVID and, and the disruptions, there is a, a, a greater collective fear. Um, and so uh, spirit, it can seem like undoing the fear. I mean, if you're, <clears throat> unless you're enlightened, you may be uh, at some level connecting in uh, unconsciously into the collective uh, consciousness. And so it seems heavier to transcend things um, uh, for some people, I'd say for many people, because if you're, if you still have thoughts which are tied in or you're linked into the collective consciousness, the average collective consciousness, the level of, of light uh, may be different than it was prior to the uh, current COVID situation. So that's one thing. The other thing with spiritual work, yes, I mean, Hawkins does uh, talk about it. And um, so it seems, um, you know, from Hawkins and my own work, you know, it's like when you're undoing chunks of the ego through forgiveness, through transcending, through, through whatever mechanism, um, it's almost like you can be hit with different lessons. And sometimes you're undoing undoing stuff um, and I think this is really uh, you can't see everything I mean if you uh, Hawkins was actually talking about Dr Hawkins my teacher he says when you get to the level of enlightenment or you're not identified with the ego any longer it's very easy to get flashbacks of uh, past lives it's all the same life but people who are identi too identified with their ego in in this seeming lifetime are not able to just skip back to all the prior lifetimes. So you don't know, it's, it, but you can see, uh, especially with past, uh, past life hyp hyp hypnotherapy regression, you see that um, physical illnesses and stuff and what one has done to others, and in this lifetime as well, comes back. So you, and often uh, it seems through muscle testing, you, one is undoing stuff through illnesses. You know, um, for example, uh, the, uh, I'd see the, the belief systems of the karma coming up in divine order to be cleared. Everything is like a school where as you pass one lesson, if you like, the Holy Spirit goes, the next, you're ready, you're eligible now to tackle the next lesson. So, um, so the next belief system or the next uh, uh, setup is brought into awareness uh, for forgiveness or through allowing symptoms and illnesses to, to, to go. So, for example, let's say in a past lifetime, I, I exhausted somebody, you know, as a, as a parent or as a brother or, as a, or in this lifetime. I've exhausted people in this lifetime. Just to know me was exhausting, especially in active addiction like all the people trying to look after me. So there's a guilt that can, and that can be undone through experiencing what I've, uh, what I've done to others, unless there's a miracle and forgiveness. So sometimes uh, it, through divine order, something comes up to be cleared because one hasn't forgiven or released it. So it's, um, one can, un there can be a miracle and there can be forgiveness and therefore one doesn't have to, but if not, uh, I, I call it karmic undoing. So then um, one experiences, has to experience out the suffering wasn't, one has inflicted on others. Uh, with illnesses, um, so um, if, you're, if you're feeling exhausted, I mean, you can feel it out. Um, often I've, I've been exhausted. I did that with my kidney failure. Every day I sat for, I think, long periods of time just with the exhaustion, just feeling it out. Uh, it'll come to an end. Just sit and be with it and don't try and go to sleep. Uh, you, can, uh, you can experience it out. Uh, you can observe it. Okay, exhaustion is here. So, but is there something observing the exhaustion? Is there a witnesser or an awareness of the observer which is not the exhaustion? And then it can be a miracle. In a split second, there's no exhaustion. It disappears like a cloud, an illusion or a dream that's broken. Um, the next one uh, can be, uh, um, 
you can pray uh, you can pray to the holy spirit to see it in truth or you can pray uh, to the holy spirit to god to reveal what's the lesson that needs to be learnt in the exhaustion you know you can also you could be tuning into collective belief systems so i cancel my belief in exhaustion i'm an infinite being god did not create exhaustion it's not real so you can dissolve it because uh, actually in truth exhaustion has never existed so that's just part of the collective illusion Okay, I'll stop the recording.